got to ask you how you feel about Trump being president again. Um, well, see, I'm more happy that Kamala Harris and the Democratic Party was not selected. I'm more happy about that than I'm happy about Trump. It's not that I'm a Trump fucking, I'm on the Trump trumpet. You understand what I'm saying? Like, um, I just feel like the Republican Party's values as it stands now align more with my values. See, the Democratic Party went way too far with the left. They went way too far with the left. They tried to go drag us kicking and screaming with, you know, the LGBT and the, and the you know, the, 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 the climate fucking crisis and, and uh, abortion and, and, and just, um, just all this nonsense. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, taking away free speech and going against gun rights. All of these things that people with conservative values, you know, trying to go with this they, them, and all that, and, and letting transgenders read to our children. Like, oh, oh, with the woke shit, it's just too much. It was too much. They was beating us over the head with it. Every Hollywood <coughs> film or <coughs> um, whatchamacallit that would come out, any kind of uh, TV show that would come out. It seems like you couldn't get nothing greenlit unless you incorporate some sort of homosexual agenda inside of it somewhere. It had to be somewhere in there. It could be the most gangsterish, sh and they was gonna find a way to force it in there. Now we know that Hollywood is very much with the left and the Democratic Party and the progressive, they're the ones pushing this sh that's why they were able to get so many um, celebrities to come out for her, you know, even though they weren't cheap and we'll get to that. Um, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but um, yeah, these guys just went too hard with this progressive woke sh And I feel like I, I felt that going around in the community, not only on social media, but when I would talk to black people in my everyday life, nobody was with the Kamala, uh, the Kamala nonsense that they was trying to throw down, shove down our throats. Like we just wasn't buying it. Like they were trying to tell us Trump is bad. He's, he's so bad, but it's just like, I feel like she's worse. And everybody was just feeling that way. And I saw it. And they didn't want to acknowledge it. They, instead of listening to our concerns, they wanted to try to shame us, talk sh to us and talk down to us, bring out your boy Barry to fucking cross his arms and, you know, and try to scold um, black men in America and act like it was because misogyny and all of these other labels that they try to put on us was the reason that we weren't behind her. Not the fact that she was just a weak candidate that did not answer questions, not the fact that the Democratic Party has moved, you know, so far left and has actually become the party of <clears throat> the elites. Um, they have become the party that supports um, this elitist mind frame, this, this Bill Gates, you know, view of the world where there needs to be a certain section of the population and, you know, and then we need to control them and control what they say and all this shit about misinformation and all this bullshit and censoring people's social media and all of that type of shit. That was all those guys. <clears throat> that was all the shit they aligned with. So when you got Trump coming out as soon as he wins, talking about, listen, America is only going to recognize two genders, male and female. Oh, we clapping it up for shit like that. 
We clapping it up for sh like that. We clapping it up when he appoints someone like RFK to be the, cell, the, the head of health and human services. Okay? Although they're trying to talk shit about him. Oh, RFK is a conspiracy theorist and he's against vaccines, as he should be. As he should be. And now maybe we could talk about it out loud instead of feeling like our fucking platforms are going to be shadow banned and demonetized because we want to talk about the truth. Maybe now with these guys in place, you know, because I've definitely, um, <clears throat> you know, been subjected to that. Sh Nobody told me nothing. Nobody told me that I was shadow banned on IG and shadow banned on fucking YouTube. But, but magically, you know, people are not getting my alerts and they're not seeing my videos the way they used. You know, what the fuck? And, and when they try to even follow me, they're these niggas is telling them, are you sure you want to follow this guy? Oh, it was crazy during COVID. It was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, he's been known to say some crazy shit, basically. He's been known to spread information, misinformation and shit like that. Yeah. So, hopefully now, we can at least get some truth telling, you know, back on the table without feeling like we're going to have reprisals. Because, yes, you're right, I did take a risk coming out against Kamala and, and the Democratic Party. And let me just say, the, my, those views of her and all of that were my views. Maybe I was a little hard on her because she was the face of this shit. She's the one that they put up in the front, so we got to go at her. And she was doing such a horrible job. All this, you know, trying to arrange the perception you know, that, that seemed very disrespectful and disingenuous. At every turn, you're trying to arrange a perception. You know, you want us to believe that she's black. Um, when Candace Owens shot holes all through that shit. And you could talk shit about Candace Owens if you want, but she did an excellent fucking journalistic job when it came to uh, showing and proving this woman's lineage. Um, you know, we ask you questions directly and you just will refuse to answer them. Like, what are you gonna do about the economy? Well, you know, I, I know people are, gas is high and, you know, food is high and, you know, we gotta get it to a place where it's not high. And We asked you, what are you gonna do? Like all of that type of shit is, for, especially for black men who, Black men who are known for having, quote unquote, game. You can't say nothing slick to a can of oil. You can't game a gamer, right? So she seemed to me like that dude that was ready to say anything or be anybody in order to get the pussy. Oh, 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 she likes, she likes consciousness. Yeah, let me get on my conscious shit right now. Let me, you know what I mean? Let me get on my, you know, I'm going to hit her with some hotep shit right now. That's going to get me to put me. Oh, 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 she's on some, some street shit. Yeah, I'm going to talk some hood shit to her. You know what I mean? Oh, she's a white girl. Let me, let me be not less threatening to her and show her that I can. Great analogy. Huh? Great analogy. Right. So when she got in front of different types of people, she would morph into different types of whoever she was in front of. Just like a nigga that's trying to get the pussy. And he'll say whatever he gotta say. Just give me the pussy, you know, you know what I mean? And what, is, what the analogy is really like, right? Because we as black people was that broad that the Democratic Party would call at three in the morning to get some pussy and we would always answer. You know that girl, right? You don't have no respect for her. But you like, yeah, I'm gonna call this bitch three in the morning. All, all, all else failed. I know she gonna give me some pussy. And they were mad that this time when they called, she said, nope, not this time. I'm gonna have some respect for myself and you are not getting this pussy. Metaphorically. And I know there's a lot of pause in it. 
is out there right now. Like, whoa, pause. But metaphorically, this is how they was treating us. You see? They was treating us just like that. And then when we actually, you know, got these morals in the 11th hour, they couldn't believe it. And they was just ready to say anything. And it was like, nope, nope. I'm newly celibate. <laughs> Sorry. And all the shit they were saying just didn't work. He's a bad guy. He's a bad guy. No, I feel like your, your shit is worse than his shit. You say he's a racist, but Planned Parenthood, the Nazis literally modeled their eugenics program after Planned Parenthood. So y'all want to talk about racism, but y'all are embracing a organization that was championed by Nazis. Yet you're mad that certain white supremacist groups support Trump. Listen, I can't, I can't control the people that like me. D despite what you, what you believe, Art, there's people that watch your channel and support it that are about some shit that you don't agree with. You dig? But does that make you a reflection of them? I mean, for the most part, your, your channel is going to have people that are in line with what you're in line with. But there could be certain things that, that people f*** with about you that you don't necessarily f*** with everything that they f*** with. And I feel like that's what happens with Trump. Yeah, a lot of these uh, white supremacist type of motherfuckers f*** with Trump. But guess what? We might have some of the same values aside from their racism. We might have some of the same values as these people that you're calling racist. Because I don't think they want to have see all these abortions. I don't think they want to have, you know, all these transgender play along with these transgender games and act like a man is a woman and a woman is a man when it's really not. Um, I don't think they want to see, you know, uh, you know, dick swinging in the women's bathroom in front of their children and all this type of shit and having their wives feel unsafe in, in spaces that they usually feel safe in. Like, I think a lot of us ag can agree with that. Whether now, but now they might hate black people. You see what I'm saying? Now they hate black people, but all those other things we agree on. You see what I'm saying? All those other things we agree on. But they hate black people. But guess what? A lot of black people hate black people. So now what? Now what are we saying here? Now what are we really saying here? So now, at the end of the day, it's selective outrage. You want to be outraged by one thing, but not another. I literally had someone tell me, oh, well, something that started bad could be used for good. How? Use for good how? Stop it with all this shit about, you know, the life of the mother and, 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 and incest and rape. Yes, we understand that. But that is such a minuscule number when it comes to the amount of abortions that happen in this country. Millions of abortions every day happen, especially to black women. And then they'll say, all oh, these, uh, these people, maybe they're not fit to have children. Well, then don't then don't f go with this 4B movement that y'all talking about. We could talk about that stupid sh too. But why is murdering a child the option instead of uh, all other sh that we could be doing? Like, why do you feel like murdering a child is some sort of right and some sort of health care? Because it's not. They gamed you into a eugenics program. This woman, Margaret Singer, said she 
niggas don't be needing to have babies. Neither does poor white trash, according to her. Only certain people need to be reproducing. And, and we're not one of them. And so while, while Kamala Harris went on her HBCU tour promoting abortion, I didn't see her going to any Ivy League schools to promote it. Did you? Nope. No, because she was doing what that organization intended it to do, which is to target our people. And we want to talk about racism? We want to act like we voted for a racist because we didn't vote for her? Nah, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it, and a lot of people didn't buy it. So either people switched up and voted for Trump, or they abstained from voting. And, and now the Democratic Party magically lost about 15 million votes. Where did they go? Where did they go? Either you had fake votes last time, like your man accused you of cheating, or you turned so many people off and away that we either f with the homie or didn't f with you at all. But at the end of the day, you're not going to tell me that black men and our energy and vibration that we put into this fucking sh didn't help sway this election. There's no way that you're not going to tell me that. That people like you and I, especially platforms like yours, didn't help to sway this election. And they'll give us fake numbers. Oh, well, no, you know, 80% still voted for her. To... Listen, I don't give a f Well, then that 20% that, that voted for him had enough sway that we swayed demographics outside of us. So you got to understand, black people, we the ones, we decide who sits at the cool table. I've said this before. We decide who sits at the cool table. So if we say, nah, he's the guy, she's not the one, everybody feels that. And those numbers are not quantifiable. Those numbers are not quantifiable. Our influence is not quantifiable like that. So, as, so you might go by these hard numbers of who actually voted. But for every person that voted for this dude, might have influenced hundreds of thousands of people. I don't know. I know our views. How, what, how, what kind of views we get in uh, art on these joints with us? How many people are watching these? Shits? Just one clip. I'll say anywhere between Depends. 100K to 300K. To over 100K. Real quick. I, be, I see joints as 400,000 crazy shit like that. I see crazy numbers like that. So. Yeah, 400K. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of videos Come doing on. numbers, man. We touching motherfuckers. Yeah. So, I'm just saying. You can't tell me that, you know, yeah, my one vote, but my influence is stupid. So stop it. You wanted us so bad to, to, to um, before the election, they wanted us to support her so bad. After the election, they acted like, well, you guys didn't really do nothing. You, it wasn't, the black man didn't really do nothing. <clears throat> Y'all full of shit. Y'all full of shit and you know it. Our voice has been heard. And next time around, you motherfuckers are gonna have to contend with us. Instead of thinking you could talk down to us and all this bullshit, you're gonna have to come to the table now and speak to us with respect and dignity and not like we fucking stupid. Yeah, that's what you're gonna have to do. Or else, guess what? <laughs> Or else, guess what? And y'all all gonna have to do this. Republicans, whoever. Green Party, whoever. 
whoever wants to, to f with us, whoever wants our vote. We have been heard. What you think about her campaign being in debt? Whoa. Whoa, let's talk about it. One billion dollars went to this woman's campaign. One billion dollars. And she is $20 million in the hole. I know the fact checkers would love to just fact check and be like, that's a lie. That's not true. Oh, no, 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 no. They already checked it. They already checked it. You would love to say that this is not true. And, and the irony that this is the woman that you wanted to balance budgets and decrease inflation. <laughs> she spent 50 million just on payroll. Yikes. Just giving out money on payroll, Trump. Spend less than 10. Fifty million on payroll. Trump spent less than ten. Y'all motherfuckers was paying for concerts. <laughs> Y'all were paying for concerts and speeches. Ten million to Beyonce. They gave money to Eminem. They gave money to, you know, Oprah's uh, Harpo got paid a million dollars to interview her. But she out here saying that she didn't get paid, but the records are out there. She got paid. See, these paper trails are out there, people. Yeah, she got paid. So as they're showing her saying that, no, I didn't get any money, they're literally showing the fucking receipts on the screen. The video's out there. Um, yeah, man. It's crazy. Now, what I'd love to see, remember that, remember that $50 million phone call that happened? Where, where especially black women, I think they got 50 million up and the brothers got money up and all this for Kamala's campaign. And then that money just went to waste. Where's the phone call to, 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 to now help just black America? Why can't we bring up, uh, Drum up money like that to just to fix the hood or for some sort of social programs so that we can do for self. Why can't, how was we able to do that in one day for a woman who's a millionaire who didn't need it, who was going to get funds from, you know, campaign financing and all this type of shit. They didn't need your little bread, but because you thought she was black, <laughs> because you believed, you know, she was going to represent you in some kind of way. And because she manipulated you by becoming an AKA, great organization, I must say. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, y'all got all this bread for her that she spent on concerts and gave away to her friends that she hired, you know, and gave an absorbent amount of, mo of, of money to, to do a failing job at the end of the day, because they didn't win. <laughs> they failed. I'm not gonna lie to you. I have a, I have a theory that initially, yeah, they, they ran her campaign through ChatGBT. They ran this through ChatGBT, and ChatGBT told these motherfuckers what to do. How to doctor McDonald's photos, lie about this and that, you made all of this fucking shit. Yeah, and if you lie about this, and if you try to manipulate the black community, you know, you'll get them. You don't have to say much. You could just, you know what I mean? You could just say that you were middle class, da-da-da-da-da. 
But see, ChatGBT didn't take into account the human factor. <laughs> the human factor of not wanting to eat bullshit. If that's what happened, if my theory is correct, you know what I mean? There was, there was something that was left out of the equation. But, I mean, to me, the campaign was run so badly that you couldn't have been worse off by having chat GBT, right? Like, <laughs> and you would have saved a lot more money, I'll tell you that. Um, so yeah, I'd like to see these people explain why she's in debt, explain why those people were paid. If they really supported the Democratic Party like this, I mean, if I'm not mistaken, didn't Elon Musk spend $130 million of his own money to, 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 to try to support the candidate that he truly believed in? If these people, and there was a laundry list of celebrities that was on this fucking payroll, if they really believed in her, why didn't they just donate their services? Why'd they have to get paid? These are good questions, people. These are just questions that need to be answered. And I don't think I'm being a bully or a bad guy for asking them. You know, it's crazy when when she lost and Trump won, I was being asked by certain parties to like tread lightly. There's people that are hurting right now. You know what I mean? There's people that whose, whose feelings are hurt because she lost. And I'm just thinking to myself, these same exact people who are asking me to tread lightly would be tap dancing on my motherfucking feelings, break dancing, fucking river dancing on my fucking feelings if she won. If she won, there would have been all kinds of aha, like, I told you so, like, there would have been all kind of prayers at Thanksgiving and shit like that. Oh, and we just want to pr pray for the new uh, incoming president. <laughs> Woo. Well, listen, history was made, y'all. You were dying to make history. I'm just saying. People were dying to make history and history was made. Trump was <laughs> the 45th and the 47th president that hasn't been done since what, since what, Van Buren? Yeah, that's pretty historic. And what's, you know what's really historic? Is that a motherfucker who everybody was against. I mean, they threw the fucking kitchen sink at this man. All the media was against him. You called him fucking racist. He's a fucking, oh, he's, he's a misogynist. He fucking... He fucks with women and, you know, oh, he's a convicted felon, a 30-something time felon, even though it's all about just writing every time he wrote a check, that's one of the felonies. And it's, you know, instead of saying one was a campaign finance and one was a legal finance, that's all he's being charged for, people. So let's stop acting like these felony shits is like some real, like, gangster shit that, that, you know, they let this man in because he's a fucking gangster. No, that was some politically motivated uh, prosecution, the same thing that you're worried about he's going to do once he gets in office, which is so f***ing ironic. You're so worried that, oh my God, once he gets in, he said he's going to prosecute his political rivals. That's exactly what the f*** you did to him. That's exactly what you did to him. And in spite of that, in spite of that, he still made it in. Now, if that's not historic, I don't know what is, bro. I don't know what is. Legendary. That's legendary gangster sh Like, what's that meme where just, you say, you say all that shit 
And then and then at the end he'd be like, and he's still president. And then the glasses go on and then the Snoop Dogg music comes on. <laughs> you know the meme I'm talking about. That's some, yo. Oh, and they try to off him twice. During the campaign. Nah, come on, man. Come on, man. That's like some G of the year, sh like, you know, yeah, that's some G of the decade, sh like, oh. And it's not because he got baby mamas and all this type of sh even though, look. <laughs> what do you got, like, a couple baby mamas, right? Two or three at least. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm just saying the better person got in. The better, the better person. And or let me just say this too. Y'all act like Trump. Um, you act like he. Oh yeah, he's such a bad person. Blah blah blah. But guess what? Sometimes you need a bad guy to do a dirty job. Get with America. Going into what they call the swamp. A swamp is inherently dirty. You don't go to a swamp with your best shit on. You need a nigga that's ready to fucking kill alligators, all kind of shit like that. You can't have no punk in the fucking swamp. Okay? You can't have no woman who's scared to break her nails. I'm sorry. Or to, you know, to break a heel. In the swamp. So, I don't need a nice guy. First of all, more, most, most of these politicians are not of high moral standing. So stop trying to hold him to a standard that you don't hold the rest of these fucking politicians to. Your boy Biden literally called us monkeys. He don't want his school go, his children going to school with monkeys. But y'all ignored that because you believed that Trump was worse. Which is crazy. So, yeah. All I can say is the better person won. I'm relieved. Now, is he going to do, is he going to be perfect in there? No. He's already doing, sh you know, t with Israel and shit like that that I'm not happy about. But hey, we can't win them all. But I feel for the most part, you know, as far as the values that I hold near and dear, I feel like for at least the next four years, a lot of this NWO, woke, progressive, liberal, leftist, communist, Marxist, socialist bullshit has been held off for a little bit. Now, what happens after that four years? Of course, they're going to try to come back, you know. But for four years, I ain't got a fucking, hopefully, well, for four years, at the very least, it's not that we're not going to still hear a lot of this shit because Hollywood in, in, a, in, a, uh, in an effort to protest against Trump may go harder with the beating you over the head with all the, you know, in all the shows and all this type of shit and in movies and entertainment, uh, which I think is going to lead to now a more independent entertainment where people start to make their own films and start to show things how we would really like to see it Minus the nonsense. I think that's going to start to be a trend too. Watch, watch me now. Trust me, I'll be on the post. Um, and I will be one of those filmmakers. Um, but at least the government won't be the one like backing all this shit up. So, so they might be trying this, shit, but it's not like we're going to have a bunch of laws being made to reinforce these messages. With her in office, we were going to have laws to reinforce messages that we 
don't morally agree with. And for that, I am thankful. For me, Ray, I can't believe she lost because of all the big names that came out to support her. You had Beyonce, M, Jennifer Lopez. I mean, so many big names came out to support her, man. And she still lost. And this is what I all, and that's how, and, and I'm glad you said that. She did have a lot of A-listers. So, so what I, what I have to say is, yeah, I like to take credit, right? But then when I'm, uh, you know, certain people you talk to, you got to say, hey, you can't possibly think I had more influence than Beyonce and Jennifer Lopez and Eminem and Leonardo DiCaprio and Don Cheadle and all these motherfuckers that they lined up, all these A-list celebrities. Little old me couldn't have affected this election, could I? Like, so I say that to people that, try to act like they're mad at me for having a voice in this election. Um, at the end of the day, my voice should have been drowned out by all these A-listers, by all these A-listers. They shouldn't have heard shit that I said, right? Right? I'm the weakest link, right? That's what they said about me. So what are you worried of what the fuck I'm saying? And, and trust me. <laughs> And people in my household, where, where, where you going? Oh, I'm going to order dialogue. Whoa, please don't say nothing crazy. Yeah. <laughs> please don't say nothing crazy. Okay, I don't think I've said nothing crazy. I just was telling the truth. But listen, my, my truth, how could it be louder than all of those people's truth? Unless... Unless they weren't telling the truth. <laughs> and then my little truth now sounds super loud because it was a bunch of lies going on over there. Hmm. That's almost the only explanation I can think of. Because if they were telling the truth, then it just, I just should have been drowned it out. That's all I'm saying. But nobody was hearing that shit. Nobody was trying to hear that shit. You was playing all in our face and we wasn't trying to hear it. And I hope, she, I hope, she, listen, I don't think she can come back in four years. I, I think they're going to have to, the Democratic Party is going to have to pivot. They're not, they can't come with the same shit how they came this time. They're going to have to come with new messaging, new leadership. She's not going to be the one. I hope we've heard the last cackle that has been cackled. The only cackle I ever want to hear again is from a chicken. But see, look at how many years ago was it when she ran before, when she was running against Biden and all that type of shit. Bro. She had 1% of the vote back then. We never was fucking with her. Where was all these black women back then lining up for her? Hey, there's a black woman on the... Y'all was fucking with Biden because Obama told you to fuck with Biden. So all of your support was behind Biden. None of y'all was calling her a black woman and she had 1% of the vote. Now, when the machine says... Okay, fuck with her, y'all. Now all of a sudden, y'all put all your fucking eggs behind this broad. And unfortunately, with all that power, all that money, all those a lesters we still wasn't buying it. She still lost. So yeah, I don't think there's a way that she could really come back because um, this was horrible. This was horrible. Um, she just was a weak candidate. She, let's be honest, ladies. Like, she wasn't an exceptional woman. Like, she was, you know, people say, oh, well, there's a lot of exceptional women out there that get passed over by, by men. That may be the case, but she's not one of them. She wasn't one of them. There was no reason why she should have got a promotion for 
anything she did as vice president um, that whole time. As vice president, you have the deciding vote on many issues. She could have, you know, she had the deciding vote on how to fix, you know, the economy, all kinds of sh she could have been doing things to help black people. She would none of that happened. Two weeks out, she comes with this bullshit plan to try to act like, um, you know, she was going to help us trying to feed us this nothing burger with a side of word salad. Yeah. So she gave us the nothing burger with a side of word salad and it just wasn't tasty, man. It just wasn't tasty, man. Nobody liked that. Shit. We spit it out, we threw it in the toilet and said F that, you know? Yeah. How you feel about her not speaking at Howard after losing? Oh, I wanted to mention, thank you about that. Thank you. Because I saw a video where, yes, when she lost, she was so self-absorbed, so egotistical that she could not come out and address her supporters, the people that drummed up that 50 million in one night. Part of it was because she said that she's an Howard alum and she's an AKA and all that. Well, guess what? They had not only students out there, but they had alumni out there. I saw a video of this very classy um, alumni, you know, woman. She looked like she could have been in her 70s. And she was out there and she said this woman didn't have the class or the decency to address her constituency after losing, uh, which would have been so gracious, so classy, and which and, and what I uh, submit that also proves that she's not the kind of black that I'm talking about. Okay, you talk about this one eighth rule bullshit. Okay, Fuck all this one eighth rule shit. Again, I'm gonna stress. I'm talking about American black. I'm talking about having the sensibilities and the upbringing and knowing the social codes and norms of American blacks, which is very different from Caribbean blacks or any kind of melanated Indians, which is what she would fall under, or even a Canadian black, okay? Where she grew up her formative years in Canada. Um, so a respectful foundational black American would have known goddamn well they had to go out there that night and address them children and them, and them elders. They would have known it. They would have felt it in here. They would have felt an obligation to go out there and address who? Your people. But, 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 but guess what? Those wasn't her people. And in that moment, she let us know. She let us know. In that moment, oh, y'all didn't support me? F y'all. Y'all didn't do what the fuck y'all was supposed to do? Y'all didn't come over for that 3 a.m. booty call? F y'all. What if you bitch? And hang up. That's what they do, right? That's what you do when the girl says she's not coming. And you get mad. What if you bitch? And y'all was mad about what I was calling her, but what do you think she was calling us in that moment? Hmm? Hmm? What was she calling us when she didn't come out and give the respect to all of those foundational black Americans that supported her. Mmm. Something to think on, people. Something to think on, people. Yeah, she gave you her ass to kiss. She did a Mike Tyson on you. A heretofore Mike Tyson. <laughs> she was using them pretty much. Yeah, it's kind of like she was using them. It's kind of like maybe she had the forethought to go to like a, a, a fucking go to a, a Howard University when she was younger, you know, 
because we're not gonna act like a lot of these motherfuckers are not bred on some MK Ultra shit. You know it, Moms was down with MK Ultra and shit like that. You know that, right? Nah, I ain't know that. You just told me something I ain't know. Look into it. Look into it. Um, and they say a lot of these presidents are bred. So if that's the case, I don't know. Could 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 going to Howard and becoming an AKA be a strategic move? Years prior, this is where they'll call me a conspiracy theorist. Okay, I'll take it. I'll I'll be I'll be that. Because conspiracy theories become conspiracy fact once revealed. We already see pictures were doctored ahead of time, right? Why would you Photoshop your head onto a McDonald's fucking um, picture ahead of time unless you were trying to manipulate the perception? So how long has this manipulation been going on? Again, we as black people who, you know, traditionally, we're not used to planning shit out. So we don't believe that a motherfucker would have a one-year plan, five-year plan, 10-year plan, 20-year plan, 50-year plan. There are, people have long-term plans out there, people. Like this whole new world order is a long-term plan. We've been reading these books about new world order, but we're seeing this sh coming into fruition now. Those books, Behold the Pale Horse, and you know what I mean? All of that type of shit, them shit were written in like the, the 80s, the mid 80s. We're into, going into 2025. So that means this is a long-term plan, right? So I'm just saying, it's not out of the realm of possibility that you can have P players and shit like that that you've been grooming for a very long time and have them going down certain roads. They're like, well, she's Indian. And, and uh, 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 how are we going to explain? Listen, have her go to Howard University. That's going to black her fire up a little bit. We'll put her in a sorority, you know, one of those black sororities. And that's going to help, you know, it's going to help make her look more black. Brilliant idea. And again, we don't know how long they've had chat GBT for either. <laughs> if we're just getting it now, they, you know they had that shit for at least 20 years or some shit. You did? They didn't let the internet out the bag to the public for like 20 years, I think. Like mad long. <laughs> 